Childers. Mr. Childers is worried he's going to hit his head. <laughs> I hit so much, man. I ain't got no hair. Ah. Welcome to historic Ruby Falls. Your elevator brought you down 260 feet into the very heart of historic Lookout Mountain. This same cave was used by both Union and Confederate forces during Civil War battles in the Chattanooga area, perhaps most notably as a temporary hospital. As Chattanooga became a large railroad hub for the South, it became necessary to construct a tunnel through the end of Lookout Mountain to provide rail access from Nashville to Chattanooga. During the construction of this railroad tunnel in 1905, the Lookout Mountain cave entrance was intersected and sealed off from outside access. Leo Lambert, a young man living in Chattanooga, had played in Lookout Mountain Cave with his friend Jimmy Fuller for years. In 1923, Mr. Lambert began investigating the concept of drilling an elevator shaft into the side of Lookout Mountain in an effort to reach the old Lookout Mountain Cave and potentially reopen it to the public. Two months of drilling into solid limestone rock at the 260 foot level, a gush of air rose up through the shaft as the jackhammer hit a void in the rock. Upon further drilling and inspection, a small opening into a previously unknown chasm was discovered. This opening, measuring two feet high and four feet wide, was immediately explored by Lambert, his friend Jimmy Fuller, and a small crew. They disappeared into the chasm and were gone 17 hours. Upon the return, Lambert excitedly told of the discovery of amazing geological formations and the existence of an enormous water. A few days later,